Luca Paritano and Drew Morgan will once again be going out on AMS EVA. This will be EVA number three in the repair sequence. This is the EVA where the new AMS pump system will be brought out of the airlock and installed on AMS itself. The pump system is rather large and uh, cannot be transported by a single crew member. Therefore, both crew will work together handing off the pump system one to the other as they inchworm their way from the airlock all the way to the forward side of the external support platform number two. The Canada Arm 2 or SSRMS will meet the crew there. Uh, at what point Drew will take control of the pump system while Luca ingresses the articulating portable foot restraint on the SSRMS. Once in the foot restraint, uh, Luca will take uh, the pump system and prepare for the flight of the Canada Arm 2 from ESP2 all the way over top of the truss to AMS in a similar manner to the trajectories he's taken on EVAs 1 and 2. While he's riding the Canada Arm 2, Drew will translate hand over hand across the truss and up to ELC2 with bags to prepare the worksite to meet Luca there for the installation of the pump system. Drew will provide eyes on to assist Luca in aligning the system and install it onto AMS into the mechanical attachment device. Once there, the crew will uh, use the pistol grip tool, the PGT, to connect the bolts, as well as connecting the power and data cables, securing the new pump system to AMS and allowing the heaters to be activated. Once the system has been powered on, it'll be prepared for the uh, fluid connections, which Luca will do from a different worksite on AMS. The SSRMS will carry him from the Zenit side to the aft side here, and he slides in to get ready for those fluid connections. There'll be six fluid connections completed here at this VSB worksite using uh, commercial off-the-shelf swages. Those swages have been encased in a uh, custom fitting that the engineering teams have developed to allow the astronauts' pressurized gloves to operate the small ferrules of the swage. Once those six swages are completed, the SSRMS will take Luca to the underside of AMS for two final swages. Drew will have to pass the tubes from the new pump system down through a passageway in AMS to allow Luca to connect those on the nadir side here. While at that NATO worksite, Luca will have to be mindful of several hazards to AMS and tight clearances while he swages those tubes. Once complete with the eight swages, this will allow the engineering teams to pressurize the system. And with the crew's work complete for the day, Luca will ride the SSRMS back to the forward side of VSP2 and prepare for airlock ingress. While Luca's riding the arm, Drew will be translating back and starting to bring bags back inside uh, that have been left out on the ELC over the course of the EVA series. And with both crew back at the airlock, that'll complete EVA 3 of the AMS repair. <laughs>